Okay, guys, well, here I am at my favorite park. And I really shouldn't be here today because I heard a tiger escape from a local zoo. But then again, what's the chances of them ending up here? Okay, well, in today's video, we go to three Goodwill stores and we find some pretty good stuff while we're there. Okay, well, let's get started. <laughs> Did you guys hear anything? I'm out of here. Well, I was finally happy to be out of that park and here at Goodwill Thrifting. Well, the first thing I saw was this Heritage House figure. They were asking $8.99 for it. It was called Picnic by Leonardo. And when I looked these up online, they're going for $40 and sometimes a bit more. Next, I took a walk over to their toy section, and it wasn't long before I found my first item here. It was this Spider-Man bubble wand. They sell them at Disney Parks. They were asking $2.99 for it, and online, these go for around $30. I stayed in the toy section, where I saw this Hot Wheels storage case. It stores 110 cars. Well, they were only asking $4.99 for it. I've sold these before, and they go for $25. When I got to this row, I wasn't expecting to find much. But then about halfway down it, I saw this wood horse puzzle. They were asking $3.99 for it. On eBay, they sell for $20. And I think most horse lovers would really like this. A few hours later, I spotted this ceramic Buddha. Well, it turns out that it's an incense burner. It's really well made. They wanted $4.99 for it. And when I looked these up, people are asking and getting around $40 for these. When I got to this row, I was really sure I was going to find some treasures. Look at all this stuff. Looks expensive, but it wasn't. So, as I hate to say, but say a lot, this aisle wasn't for me. On this row, I did find something. It was this animated and musical Valentine's bear. They wanted $3.99 for it, and they resell for $35 online. But you know what? When I got it home, the battery compartment was completely corroded. So if you want to know how I fixed it, click the link above. Well, the last place to look for treasures was on their back wall where they keep all their electronics. I saw this Apple iPhone speaker. They had it priced at $5.99 and on eBay, they're going for between $20 and $25 and these are easy to ship. Okay, well, we did okay at this store, so let's get heading to the next store. And hopefully, we find a whole bunch more treasures. Come on, follow me. Well, everybody, I just got to tell you, that was a close call at that park. Whoa, I made it back to the car by the skin of my teeth. You know, if I didn't get in this car, I think that tiger would have eaten me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he would have. Okay, well, I'm safe now, so you don't have to worry. So let's get heading to that next Goodwill. And see what we find there. Oh, and I can promise you, there's no tigers there. At the second store today, I found my first item pretty fast. It was this manatee figure. It was made of resin. They were asking $4.99 for it. It was made by this company, Cook. And you know what? I think I'd sold one of these before. Well, I'm pretty sure I did. And I got around 30 for it. On this row, I found something that I got really excited about. It was this ceramic dog. 
They were asking $4.99 for him. It was by this guy, Dahl Jensen. He was from Copenhagen, Denmark. And online, they sell for well over $100. I came over to their seasonal aisle where I saw this Halloween goblet. It had the face of a ghoul on the front and a claw hand on the back. They were asking $5.99 for it, and online they go for $25. On the other side of the seasonal aisle, I saw this Nightmare Before Christmas figure. It was Sally. They were asking $4.99 for it. When I looked these up, they're going for around $20. And I have a lot of luck selling Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. So it went right in my cart. This aisle had mostly picture frames on it. Now I do buy picture frames from time to time. But I didn't see any on this aisle that I could make a profit on. So I just... Headed to the next aisle. I came across another aisle that had some Halloween stuff on it. And on this aisle, I saw this projector. It projects pumpkins and ghosts and witches on your house. It's pretty cool. They only wanted $6.99 for it. And online, these go for $30. Well, that's the end of store number two. But remember, we have one more exciting store to go to, and I'm sure you guys don't want to miss anything that I find there. Okay, get in the car, and we'll be there shortly. At the next store, I find this German carousel nativity scene. Now, I picked it up fairly cheaply, and it already sold. So, if you want to find out how much I made on it, just follow me to the next store. You won't be disappointed. When I got to this third store, I spotted this spinning carousel nativity scene. They had priced it at $6.99. And when I looked these up online, they're selling for around $35 to $40. Not bad. You know, well, I bought about three or four of those nativity carousels. And usually... The fans, or one of the fans, are missing. So, I end up throwing it away. Yeah, I'm throwing it away and losing my money. It's horrible. <laughs> but, not this one. All the parts were there, and it ended up selling in two days for $30.95 plus ten ninety five shipping. Yippee! When I got to this row, I noticed that up on the top shelf... They had this hourglass. Well, it had a really pretty metal frame. They were asking $6.99 for it. And I think I should be able to get $30 for this pretty easy. Well, the next stop on my thrifting journey was over on their electronics aisle where I saw this wacky wake-up radio. They were asking $5.99 for it, and online, they're selling for $20 to $25. Well, I didn't find anything on this row, but when I get to the next row, I run into my two friends, Alex and Aaron, from Chapter 2 Vintage. Come on, let me introduce you to them. I'm showing them to you. So there's the other half. Oh wow. You get hugs. I've been looking for this. We've been looking for both of these. Our son wants to watch this. I wanted this for my Halloween collection. And he gets a hug. Yes. And he Everybody found it in wins. one sitting. Wow. Yeah, that's that's kind of rare. I'm surprised I found it. And I was gonna look up I grabbed this bag. I wanna look up this guy right here, the cowboy. I love those bags. Every once in a while, you do find one that's Rodeo pretty good. Rodeo Joe is his name. Yeah. By Gregory Perillo. Look so I wanted to look him up. When I got to this row, 
I found a bag full of stuff just like my friends from Chapter 2 Vintage. Only mine were filled with two toys from the Disney movie Frozen 2. And on the back, there was a Funko Pop can. And I heard some of these could be worth a lot of money. So for only five ninety nine, I wanted it. Even though I never got a hug, I decided to search one more aisle. Well, I'm kind of glad I did, because I saw this pair of wireless earbuds. They were selling for $3.99, and online, they go for $20. Okay, well, that's it for today. So just remember to stay safe out there and stay away from tigers who are not in a cage. Bye -bye. Thank <laughs> you.